It was super early in the morning when I did this, so I just decided to record it and I would do a voiceover like I'm doing now. I'm applying this with a beauty blender and this is also in the shade 5.0. It is perfect for my skin, you guys. It is absolutely amazing and flawless and it fits my skin perfectly. Um, so yeah, so I'm applying this with a beauty blender. Eventually, I'll go ahead and do it with a brush and tell you guys how I think about that. But I just like applying my stuff with the beauty blender. So um, like I always do, I'm putting four dots on my cheeks four dots on my chin and then four dots on my forehead and can't forget the neck because obviously you have to blend that out you know this was my first time putting it on and when I first did it I just thought how like oh my god this is amazing how it blends so perfectly. It goes into my skin so amazingly. It just blends. Um, oh my God, guys. I'm just going to keep saying that it is amazing. Like, it feels so nice and creamy. It's just, ugh, perfect. Now, even though I don't have to, I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit more on my problem spots just because, you know, I want as full coverage as I can get. But like I said, I don't have to do it. I'm just doing it for myself because I am very just paranoid about how my face looks. And especially with on my chin and my forehead, that's where I have a lot of my old acne scarring. And right now, I'm just applying my Tarte um, Shape Tape Concealer in Medium. Same exact thing as how I applied some extra foundation. I didn't really need it after I applied the foundation, but like I said, it was my first time wearing it, and I just wanted to make sure that my face looked perfect. I'm wearing my makeup for almost 12 hours out of the day, and if it looks bad and I have nothing else to work with, then I'm going to be pretty pissed off. So I just added a little bit more concealer to it just to make it look perfect. And by the way, that is my Eco Tools concealer brush. It's part of their new like complexion line that they had. And I do enjoy that brush quite a bit. I did return the under eye brush, but yeah, this one's pretty good. Okay, so I'll be right back with the rest of my makeup. All right, guys, this is my finished makeup look for the day. Um, the foundation feels really, really nice and very, um, almost kind of powdery feeling. Like it doesn't really feel like very as cakey as I thought it was gonna be considering how thick it was. Um, it's now 6.40, so I'm going to go ahead and go on to work, and I will check in with you guys in a few hours um, with better lighting, obviously. So I will see you guys soon, and have a great rest of the day. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. It's around like 10.53 right now, and I'm, I've had this makeup on for, I think, um, four hours, because I did my makeup at 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, it is holding up pretty well. I like it a lot. It's, I'm not getting oily in any spots where I typically do get oily. Um... The makeup on my chin is kind of getting a little bit iffy, which happens anyway with any of my makeup. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I like it so far. It still feels really good. I, like I said, I haven't had to touch up. So I'm going to check back in with you guys again at around 2.30, um, 2.45, because that's when I go in my car and stuff like that. So I'll see you guys in a few hours, and I'll be back later. All right, hey, guys. It is now 2.53. Um, so I almost have the makeup on for 10 hours. Yes, I still count with my fingers. I teach English, not math. Um, so I've had the makeup on for 10 hours now, and it's still holding up pretty well. I haven't touched up yet. Same thing like when I said at like at 10 something, I haven't touched up yet. I am getting slightly oily on my forehead and my chin, but that is because I just walked from my classroom all the way outside, and it is around like 93 degrees out here in Florida, and it was hot as hell in my car. So it could just be the sweat that was like coming off my face or whatever. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's fine so far. It still feels really nice and pretty much like skin over here. It's kind of tacky on my chin. Can't really feel it on my nose, and it's really tacky. It's really tacky on my forehead, but. Other than that, I really, really enjoy this so far. Um, I am going to a spinning class at six o'clock. And I know you're not supposed to keep makeup on when you work out, but I do because I'm not gonna take it off anyway. I mean, I'm just lazy when it comes to stuff like that. So I'm obviously gonna keep it on when I go to spinning and then I'll check back in with you when that is done and you can see how it held up during a workout session. So yeah, I'll be back at 
what is it? It's an hour session. So I'll be back around like seven o'clock with a quick update. And I'm gonna give you my final thoughts once I get home from the spinning class. So I will see you guys in All a right few guys, hours. I'm in my bedroom right now. Um, excuse the noise, my boyfriend's playing um, the wrestling 2016 video game on Xbox or whatever, I don't know. Um, it's 6.30. I didn't go to spinning class um, just because I just really didn't feel like it, but I did work out here at home and I did work up a pretty good sweat. As you can see, my skin is still pretty glistening from the sweat. Um, that's not oil, so that's all sweat. Um, but yeah, it still held up pretty well. Like, it didn't move anywhere. Typically when I sweat, I'm used to foundation kind of like coming off and um, obviously same the discoloration from my face to my uh, foundation, but this matches my skin perfectly. It's so amazing. I, I honestly just feel like this whole entire video is me raving about how amazing this foundation is. Um, but yeah, it stayed on pretty well. My chin, it is getting kind of like, not patchy, I guess grainy is the word. I don't know how else to like to describe it. And my chin, which it typically does anyway whenever I wear foundation. However, my chin isn't as bad as it has been for the past like week or two with the other foundations that I've been wearing. Um, but yeah, this stuff has held up pretty well throughout the day. I've been wearing it for um, pretty much almost 12 hours now, 12, 13 hours right now. So it's been doing pretty well. So I will see you guys. I'm probably going to film like my whole entire impressions of it tomorrow just because I'm so tired and I want to eat and I'm hungry and I know I'm not going to um, film for the rest of the night. All right, guys, I am wearing a completely different outfit. That is because I'm filming this actually on a Wednesday, which is today, the day that the video is going up. Everything else I did film yesterday. I was just so tired after I took off my makeup and I just wanted to go to bed, so I didn't really film my um, personal opinion on the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. But all you guys have to know is that this is amazing, it is beautiful, go out and get it. I retail for $40, but this is $40 that is well worth it. It is very, very, very good for oily combination skin like I have. I think I mentioned before that I do get oily in the T-zone. And I honestly, like, I really didn't have to touch up at all. And it all depends on how much I sweat throughout the day. So if I'm not sweating at all, because I do walk around a lot, I teach and all the other stuff. If I'm not sweating at all, then I don't have to touch up. Today I was doing a lot of back and forth running. Not running, but like walking back and forth. You know what I mean? So I did have to touch up a little bit. But typically if I don't have days like that, like yesterday, I didn't have to go back in and touch this up at all. It stayed perfect. And even like on my chin, like I did mention, my chin, for some reason my makeup there kind of goes away more. Even though I don't touch it, this didn't budge, you guys. This stuff is um. Oh my god, it's amazing. And you know how excited I am about this, especially since the last thing that I bought, which was the eyeliner sucked. But I am so excited about this one. That it is creamier than I thought it was going to be. Um, the Urban Decay Naked Foundation, it has a little bit of a runniness to it. This has more of a hold, I would say. Like, it's, it's creamy, but it's not too thick. That's what I'm going for. It's creamy, but it's not too thick. Um, it's very... I, I think it's full coverage to me, like I really didn't have to go back in and um, reapply it. I didn't have to, but I did because that is just like, that's just me because I don't like wearing a lot of concealer. So I'll, I did go back in and reapply it, but you don't have to do that because to me it is very full coverage, but it's not heavy or cakey. It doesn't feel tacky on the skin. It feels very, very smooth. It doesn't transfer that much and I just... I love this stuff you guys and this is perfect perfect if you're like me and you're wearing your makeup from 5 30 6 o'clock in the morning all the way to probably 3 o'clock in the afternoon depending on how long that you work this is amazing for people that are like that if you're working for long periods of time this is this is mm, oh my god I love this stuff so much oh, I got lipstick on it oh fuck that's gross um, <laughs> yeah this stuff is it's amazing you guys um, yeah, I really hope that you like this video. I am going to be doing another review on the Hourglass Vanish Stick. I've gotten to play with it more a little bit. Um, I'm very happy that I didn't do a first impressions video on it. So, I mean, I, you'll, you'll find out when you see the video. So, yeah, I hope you guys have a really good rest of the week. And I will see you guys on Monday. Oh, I also forgot. Look what came in the mail. Yes, I got it. I bought this at 5 a.m. on Monday morning.
Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm gonna be doing a tutorial with this soon. Oh god, you guys have no idea how excited I am to use this. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys on Monday, and I hope you guys have a great rest of the week, great weekend, and I will see you guys then. Bye, guys.